Hello friends, myself Hari Sadashiv Motekar. I am assistant professor at Shahanankar Kachi Engineering College and today I will show you how to use circuito.io. So it's an online tool for making a circuit of IoT projects and also it help us to uh, coding part. So if you are facing any issue in IoT projects, so you can use this uh, app and it will, this video will definitely help you. So let us begin with the circuito.io. Uh, circuito so very first thing I want to tell you about this. This is the one of the advantage that uh, this website will never ask you about the uh, subscription and login to the website. Okay, so here it is available. Option is available to sign up, but if you want, you can skip it. Okay, so very first thing you need to tap, uh, click on this tab that is go to app. Okay, now here it will ask you about the to agree the terms. So, so just agree this and close. Okay. Now this is the home page where you can see the most of the uh, means all the parts like designing of the circuits, then code and the project guides. So initially it will show you that there is no project as we are starting uh, right now. And here also it is showing that there is no project. So you can. But once we will make a project, it will show you. Now next thing. Uh, this is the part where you can search your components. You can search the component by their types also. So types are given here controller input output then connecting or connectivity or IOT then power supply. So these are the different types that you can sub, uh, categorize the components. Okay, you can also use a directly search button so that uh, just write the name of your component. You can uh, connect that means uh, find that uh, component. One more benefit of this. Uh, uh, this website uh, is uh, you have the option to select the components here only and buy them. Okay, so directly you can select them. You can add to cart and buy them. So this is one of the feature. So here you can see it is having home page app means this is the part then about us then FAQ. If you are having any query, you can talk. You can uh, access the block of this. So this is, these are the different features of this. Okay, so these are the partners and all. So when we are trying to make a project, so we need to select one of the board. So we first we need to select board here. Arduino Uno is already given, but if you want to switch there, switch this controller. So we can go to the controller and we can select one of the controller board. Suppose I am say, selecting a uh, Raspberry Pi. So it will once you will click on the Raspberry Pi. So it is showing you the Raspberry Pi beta. Then uh, uh, it will ask you to swap. So why it is asking to swap? Because it is ha we are having already a controller. So it will ask. So we once we will swap. So it will show us the, the Raspberry Pi. You can check the components. You can check all the details about the Raspberry Pi here. Now it is connected with one of the USB uh, pin. So uh, this is one of the benefit of this uh, application that once you are using any component, so whatever the necessary means required additional things with that component that it will automatically provide you. Okay, means you need to bother, don't need to bother about that uh, components, additional components like how many wires we will require or that like like that. Okay, so suppose I am using this. So let us switch again uh, to suppose Arduino, you know, if you want to you want to switch with Arduino, you know, so you need to click on Arduino, you know, it will again ask you about swap. So we can swap. Okay. So it is swap with the Arduino. Okay. Next part. If you want to use some input devices for taking input, like suppose you, you want to uh, use a sensor, like uh, which will sense the data from your environment. So suppose we can use a temperature temperature sensor. So temperature sensor. So it will be it is a, as it is an input device. So you need to say, say, select the input devices. So you can find here temperature device. If you want, you can directly search. So I'm searching it. So just I'm typing temp. So it will show me the number of temperature devices, temperature sensor. Sorry, not device temperature sensor. Uh, so one of them I am selecting. So uh, once I will click on the temperature sensor add it is not available in our board. So it will ask uh, us to add. Okay. When we uh, add a controller board, so we already having a controller board. That's why it was showing you swap. Now I'm adding it. Okay. You can see when you are clicking on any board, so it is also giving you the option to buy. Okay. See here it is option of buying. 
if you want to edit the details it is given here you can read about the controller uh, whatever the sensor or board you are uh, using you can read about that also means all the details are given here so this is a, one of the benefit of this now you can see here i have just click uh, added this temperature sensor but along with this uh, uh, the this board means uh, this breadboard is also provided to us uh, by this uh, circuito.io these cables are also provided and properly arranged in the circuit means we don't need to think about how to uh, you, which cable we need to connect where how to how many cables are required how, which breadboard we will require how to connect on breadboard we don't need to bother about that once you will click on one of the uh, sensor it will automatically uh, provide the additional things with that okay so if you want you can remove this component you can replace this component for that you need to just left click here to so you can check here the info about the sensor you can duplicate the sensor Dupl duplicate means what we can do we can make another copy of the sensor okay and you can uh, uh, remove this sensor once i'll remove so you can see automatically the whole configuration will be removed and we, you can also edit the sensor okay so these are all are the features available here so i'm doing that again i'm adding that so you can see once i'll add all the configuration will be automatically Okay, so now it's an input device sensor. I just want to make a project in which a temperature sensor will sense the temperature of the room, and once it will sense and at a particular uh, temperature, it will start the fan. Okay, so for that we will require a fan. The fan means a motor. So we can select a output device here, and we can go to the motor. We can uh, type the motor. Okay. So once you will type a motor, so here as we know for fan we require a AC motor, so we are using a AC motor. So I am adding this component. You can see here again it is giving us the description about the component and also it is asking us to add. Okay, so add. So you can see here once I add this component, so all the necessary things with that component means how many wires we will require and uh, how to connect that all the things are taken care of this circuito.io means on which pin of the this uh, Arduino you know it need to be connect it is already done by this okay if you want to use two fan this you need to just duplicate this so it will use another fan so once I'll duplicate it is giving us this option okay so whatever the additional things required that it is providing automatically okay okay so you can see that it is providing us this two fans and additional uh, things whatever required with this okay so uh, just like that if you want to remove you can remove it again so this was the uh, this was about designing part now let's move to the next step that is coding part so here whatever components we were adding there so accordingly the code is generated here automatically okay you can see the whole code of this program is generated you can if you want you can edit this code if you want you can directly copy and paste this code you need to just select all and copy right click and copy okay so you can copy and paste this code in your IDE where you can run it and okay so whole code is available you need to just modify code if you want or, or you can directly run it as it is okay so this is about the coding part the code is available here with this firm of, uh, firmware okay so here all the code is give available you can just download this code also now what about the project guide so project guide is what one of the tabs where you can you will find whole things about the project means so once you will go to the project guide it will open in a separate window it would take some time because it is conferring for uh, it is collecting the information about the configuration you made about the components you selected and uh, the coding okay. this is circuito.io project guide where we can see the configuration of the project so project guide shows us the information about whole project like uh, uh, the bill of material bill of material means how what components we purchase and uh, the bill of that components means if you want to purchase these components so what will be the bill so this is about the 
build up the components you need to just click on this uh, card so this components will be automatically added to your card and the uh, uh, bill will be generated okay okay next is what the wires so here you can see the wiring and co means connection of the circuit next is code so code you can download or generate the code if you want you can test your circuit as well so these are the steps given here you can follow the steps in your id where you can test the code also you can share your code the share link is given here so you can you can share your code on facebook okay so this was about the circuito.io i hope you like this video and please use this video while you making a project okay thank you so much for watching